There's a garbage patch in the ocean twice the size of Texas and it's still growing. And here's the shocking part. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch isn't the only one. There are five of these swirling plastic nightmares across the world's oceans, all formed by human waste and ocean currents. These massive clusters of plastic waste don't just look bad, they are devastating for marine life. Over 100,000 marine animals and 1 million seabirds die every year from plastic pollution. But the damage doesn't just stop there. Plastic is making its way into the food we eat, the water we drink, and our bodies. So how did this happen? What exactly is in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? And most importantly, how can we stop it? That's what we're breaking down today in this video. Most people picture the Great Pacific Garbage Patch as a massive floating island of trash, but that's a myth. While there are some large objects, discarded fishing nets, plastic bottles, and broken consumer goods, most of the patch is made up of microplastics. Microplastics are tiny plastic fragments, often smaller than a grain of rice, that are nearly impossible to clean up. They don't biodegrade, instead they break down into smaller and smaller pieces, spreading throughout the ocean and harming marine life in ways we are still trying to understand. So how did this happen? Every year we dump over 8 million tons of plastic into our ocean. Ocean currents then trap and concentrate this waste into massive gyres, slow moving circular currents caused by Earth's rotation and winds. The North Pacific Gyre, where the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is located, acts like a giant vortex, pulling in plastic and preventing it from escaping. Over time, this plastic accumulates and breaks into microplastics, but never fully disappears. Once plastic enters the gyre, removing it is nearly impossible, and with plastic production rising every year, these patches will only continue to grow unless we take action. This floating soup of plastic waste is wrecking havoc on marine ecosystems. Studies estimate that over 14 million tons of microplastics now contaminate the ocean floor, posing a lasting threat to sea life. Sea turtles mistake plastic bags for jellyfish, seabirds scoop up colorful plastic fragments and then feed them to their chicks thinking it's food, and fish and other marine animals ingest microplastics, which means those plastics eventually make their way up the food chain and end up in our bodies. Recent studies have found microplastics in the seafood that we eat, raising serious concerns about what this means for human health. While scientists are still studying the long-term effects, there is growing evidence that plastic particles could disrupt hormones, carry toxins, and affect human cells. Efforts to clean up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch are underway. Organizations like the Ocean Cleanup have deployed large-scale nets to capture floating plastic and remove them from the water. These efforts are making progress, but cleanup alone won't solve the problem. The real issue isn't just plastic that's already in the ocean. Removing the Great Pacific Garbage Patch alone could cost up to $7.5 billion, and that doesn't address the millions of tons still entering the ocean each year. The world produces over 400 million tons of plastic annually, and yet only 9% is ever recycled. The rest ends up in landfills, incinerators, or the environment, with much of it eventually reaching the ocean. Unless we reduce plastic production and change our habits, the garbage patches will continue to grow no matter how much we clean up. So here's how you can help. The best way to fight plastic pollution is stop it at the source. Ditch single-use plastics, carry a reusable water, coffee cup, or shopping bag. Say no to plastic straws and utensils, opt for compostable or reusable alternatives. Be mindful of the packaging, buy products with less plastic or choose glass or metal containers. Recycle properly, check your local recycling guidelines to ensure you're sorting waste correctly. Support legislation that advocates for policies to reduce plastic production and promote sustainable alternatives. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch didn't appear overnight, and it won't disappear overnight. But by changing the way we use plastic and demanding better alternatives, we can stop feeding these garbage patches and protect our oceans for future generations. Every small action adds up. Are you ready to be part of the solution? Follow Forever Green for more ways to protect the planet, and I hope you enjoyed this video.